Hey y'all, welcome back. Do any of you guys like theater? I do. I think it's amazing to see a person put on a costume and perform something that, in my opinion, is as valuable as a movie. I think it's important to keep theater alive and well in these modern times. When I was a high school student, I viewed it as exciting and incredibly fun to put on a stage production. Did I run into a few hoops? Well, yeah, but I don't regret my experience I had as a, a theater student. Although my history with theater will be a, another topic for a different video. Here we will be talking about the Comic Con equivalent, the Thespian Convention, which I went to for my senior year. The Thespian Convention was a chance for theater students to audition for college scholarships, discover college opportunities for theater, and overall meeting more theater students who share, all shared a love for the stage. When I got into my junior year of high school, I figured out about the Thespian Convention when it was too late. They already left for the three day long convention, but that's fine because I had a huge badge with my name on it for the senior year. Yep, I went to the stake Thespian Convention. And all I had to pay was $300. But that $300 did pay for a lot in what I think was probably the best hotel I've ever stayed in. If only my emotional and mental problems didn't disrupt me. But that's also another topic for another video. The $300 covered three nights in a hotel room, meals, shows, venues, escorts, and basically a lot. Now, I have a pretty awesome theater director. I won't give her name out because I respect her privacy. It's important to me. So, we will give her a fake name. Her fake name will be Mrs. Joy because she brought joy to everyone she knew. Most of my high school life was unfortunately pretty dragging due to mental issues. I felt extremely excluded many, many times. When I saw my name on a list for people going to the convention, it made me feel wanted for once. Included. Like I was worth it. The day we left, we had to find something to do before the bus came to pick everyone up at 7. Some people went shopping, some people I think went to the movies, but I just decided to buy my two friends dinner which was something my father was not happy at me for. Still though, I did it. I spent a few hours scrolling on my phone and tablet until everyone came back at 6.50, and we all loaded into the bus and put our luggage in a space under the bus. Now, this trip to the hotel didn't take long, but silly high schoolers did silly high schooler things, which involved pressing a big red button at the back of the bus that did nothing, but it still entertained us. Thespian convention was held near the end of November, so the hotel was packed full of uh, Christmas decorations, and this uh, hotel had a huge indoor exhibit filled with ponds of fish, Christmas trees, flowers, decorations for Christmas. It did not look like a hotel, it looked more like a theme park, and I loved it. It was so nice. When we arrived, Miss Joy went over all the rules with us. Basically, don't go off alone, everyone in bed by 10, you better not have your asses caught in the opposite gender's room. But overall, it was pretty chill. You want to know the best part? Our hotel room, which was on the 7th floor, had a balcony with a view to the entire hotel exhibit. And I was just standing on the balcony so calm and relaxed and watching everyone just love the Christmas decorations. And it's funny, I even looked out to the stunning scenery and saw another student on the balcony way across the hotel. So far away they looked like ants. I even waved at one and they waved back. It was just, it just felt so uniting, which is something that theater students have. They are all united, and it's so fresh and free. The majority of the convention consisted of venues. 
basically college applications and local retailers selling things like costumes and wigs, screenplays and DVDs. It was like walking into the dealer's room of an anime convention, but it was all for theater. Although I didn't audition for any scholarships, I was still enlightened to talk to all the colleges there, and I can't say the experience was a waste. When we were served dinner, we were served dinner in groups. My school was grouped with the blue school, so we ate dinner second. At that time, I was still in the stage where any restaurant that wasn't Taco Bell or McDonald's was fancy to me. Please don't judge me. There was a point in my life where I thought Olive Garden was five-star dining. Another thing I strictly remember is that how we all met up at this uh, hotel restaurant and we just talked and socialized. And this was at a point in time where I was feeling very, very, very low about myself. So to be able to meet up with all these people who I thought they didn't think anything about me was such a nice feeling to have. And that basically wraps up my first day at this convention. My roommate and I basically just watched Disney things before falling asleep, and this was before Disney Plus was a thing. If you want to hear more about my three-day adventure at this convention, let me know. That's all. Take care, and remember to love yourself.